Hi everyone, I'm Jorasar and this is the battle report for the round of 8 match between the currently unbeaten Afrika Freaks Blue who are on a 9-0 map score this season against Meta Athena who have struggled in this die favoured era and are looking to prove that they've put in the practice and can dive with the best of them. Let's see how the match went down. On Oasis, Meta Athena's pharmacy combo landed a quick succession of rockets to start out the match on city centre, securing the first capture of the point. Libero and company's stay on the point wouldn't last long against the die from Afrika though, who flipped the point at 51% without having to spend any of their 6 ultimates, creating a recipe for disaster for the meta roster and allowing Afrika to take the first submap. Moving on to gardens, Afrika Freaks maintained their stranglehold on the match by capturing first and locking out meta for the duration of the round, relying on standout performances from Arhan on the Genji, turning the fight in Meta's overtime attempt with his Dragon Blade, and finishing the full hold to take back one. On to King's Row, Sire player's Tracer took matters into his own hands during the opening moments of Meta Athena's attack, flanking up to the high ground and gunning down both the Ana and Soldier that were holding the hallway. With point A taken, Meta pushed through towards the second checkpoint before Donghyun's D.Va self-destruct set up spawn advantage for the Afrika defense to hold the second checkpoint for an extended portion of Meta's remaining time bank. Once Meta finally got the cart moving again, things looked to be fully under their control approaching the final point, but Donghyun again was the stick in the mud, stalling the cart as D.Va once more and crippling Meta with his self-destruct that removed both tanks from active duty leaving the cart just meters from third. Afrika Freaks Blue's offensive turn got off to a rocky start, failing to regroup properly and losing valuable time due to staggered picks from their flankers dying early. They did, however, properly build ultimates, and between Recry's tactical visor and Donghyun's relentless diva guns, they chewed through the defensive sound barrier and got the cart moving, soaring through the streets phase and pushing aggressively into the defense. At their destination, Donghyun continued his highlight of a day, being the MVP for his team and peeling for his supports, pressuring the backline of Meta Athena and zoning with his self-destruct to solo push the cart the final meters while Meta hid, unable to recontest. The true die from Meta Athena found its form on Hanamura A, getting two-thirds of the capture on the very first attempt and then coming back, facing down Arhan's Nanoblade by giving him no value and taking the last third they needed to start shifting towards point B. A true emotionally driven team, Meta surged onto B, looking to convert fast and end the round. But after de-mecking Donghyun, a quick-thinking Primal Rage pushed three of them into the Diva Bomb and they lost all momentum to Afrika Freaks. That's all it took for Afrika to stabilize, holding point B for almost the full time bank giving up the second point only in the final 10 seconds thanks to Changshik tesslering down three defenders and Libero's blade doing the rest for the capture. Sombra was the swap that Meta decided they needed for their defensive turn, relying on his EMP to combo with Libero's dragon blade, preventing the capture of A for a solid two minutes longer than Afrika was able to during the first half. Once A was taken though, B was stormed, giving them a snowball opportunity that broke the defense and capitalizing on Recry's tactical visor damage to stack kills fast and full cap B with over 5 minutes left in the time bank. With now just 1 minute in their bank for the second round, Meta got absolutely dominated in their single chance at point A and had to design a composition that they thought could hold for 5 minutes choosing May, Reinhardt, and Anna to provide some staying power. Afrika Freaks would not be denied their sweep though, using a 3 DPS dive to end the series in the blink of an eye in an absolutely dominant 3-0 display. Afrika Freaks score yet another 3-0, extending their streak to 12 straight and look forward to facing X6 Gaming in a match that will determine our first semi-finalist. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and click subscribe over here, and if you want to watch the next video, you can click here. Thanks for your likes and comments in the meantime, and don't forget to share. I'll see you for the next match.